So let us try to understand how to solve the simultaneous equations using MATLAB code. So let us consider the example of two dimensional heat flow and the temperatures of the edges of this plate are shown over here. For example, 60 degrees centigrade, 80 degrees centigrade, 10 degrees centigrade and 25 degrees centigrade. And we have to find out the temperature, interior temperatures T1, T2, T3 and T4. So we have taken into consideration some suitable grid size and then the corresponding temperatures we have to find out. So here we will use the Laplace equation for two dimensional heat flow. So uij according to the Laplace equation is given by 1 upon 4. The summation of these corner points of the rhombus. So for example it is 1 by 4 in bracket uij plus 1 that is this particular value then u i minus 1 j that is this value then u i j minus 1 is this particular value and u i plus 1 j is this particular value now in our case this is our u i j suppose so you can form the rhombus as shown over here and then the, using the same concept we can write down the equation over here so uij is equal to 1 by 4 and the sum of these corner points so you can see over here this uij is nothing but our t1 so it is 1 by 4 uij plus 1 so uij plus 1 is nothing but t4 value that we have written over here then ui minus 1 j is nothing but this particular value that is 60 in our case this face is having temperature of 60 so this value is 60 then uij minus 1 is this particular value so this edge of the plate is having value of 80 degrees centigrade that we have written over here and finally ui plus 1 j is this particular value that is nothing but t2 in this case so it is cross multiply by this 4 over here so it is 4 t1 is equal to t4 plus t2 and plus 140 and transfer this t2 and t4 terms on this side so they will become minus t2 and minus t4 so we are getting the equation as 4t1 minus t2 minus t4 is equal to 140 the same concept is applied correct for calculation of t2 t3 t4 by forming this particular rhombus over here then rhombus for this t3 and for this t4 also and we are getting this particular four simultaneous equations. So this is equation 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is for T1, this is for T2. So if you want to find out for T2 for example, then you can form the rhombus like this. And then you will get this particular equation solving in the same fashion as we have solved over here. Similarly for T3 also you can form the rhombus over here like this and then you will get the, this particular equation and similarly for t4 so we have to solve these four simultaneous equations so this is the first equation second third and fourth equation indirectly we have to find out the values of t1 t2 t3 and t4 using this finite difference method and we'll use the MATLAB code to solve these particular equations. So we know that if we are having the set of equations a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to d1, then in matrix form this can be written as. So this is the coefficient matrix. So a1, b1, c1, then a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3, and variable matrix is given by x, y, and z. And this is the matrix of constants or solution matrix that is d1, d2, and d3. So this is a x is equal to b. So x can be calculated by using a inverse of b. Now here we will use the MATLAB code for solving this particular equation. So now we are having our four equations as we have already formulated over here. And these equations can be written in matrix form. So the coefficient matrix is over here. So this is 4 minus 1. It is There is no t3 term so that is 0. And t4 is having coefficient of minus 1. So similarly, you can write down this particular matrix. The variables are T1, T1, T2, T3 and T4 and the constants are 140, 90, 35 and 85. 
so this is our matrix a and this is our matrix b and we have to find out this matrix t1 t2 t3 and t4 so to represent this particular matrix a like this in the square bracket in matlab so this is the coefficient matrix 4 minus 1 0 minus 1 then second row is minus 1 4 minus 1 0 and like that up to this fourth row similarly represent this matrix of constant also that is 140 90 35 85 and then use the function linsol ab for the temperature t and display these temperatures in the command window so if you run this particular uh, program right, in MATLAB then you will get the values of T1, T2, T3 and T4 as shown over here. So simple function linsol AB matrix A which is the coefficient matrix and matrix B which is the matrix of constant. If you use this particular function then you can easily get the value of the variable matrix value of the variable T right, that is T1, T2, T3 and T4. So in this way, you can use, you can solve the four equations or five equations or six equations using MATLAB.